Hi, I'm Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to plant mint indoors. Um, it seems like a pretty simple thing to do, and um, it is. So I just thought it'd be fun to show, you know, some things that I'm doing during the day. And, um, and who knows, there might be a way that you do it differently, and, you know, I would love to hear about it and maybe try it out myself. But again, it's pretty relatively simple. You could do this with any herb. Um, it's February here in New Jersey, and um, just kind of getting in that spring fever. I'm getting excited. I want to start planting my seeds in my garden. And, um, you know, and I saw this beautiful organic mint at the grocery store in a pot and all, and I thought it'd be nice to plant it. Um, now, as a lot of people may already know, uh, mint is, um, it comes so many varieties. I believe this is just... I believe this is spearmint, but I'm not certain. And it smells so fragrant. And right now the leaves are small, but the thing with mint is, is that it is good to keep it in a pot because if, unless you want an entire yard full of mint, it does grow sporadically, which is um, great. But, you know, the roots get really, you know, the roots are very hardy. It's a very hardy plant, and it comes year after year. It survives the harshest winters. Um, so, but right now I'm going to plant it in a pot to get a little bit bigger. Um, this is a pot I picked up today. It's actually pretty neat. It's a, um, it says it's made out of 100% natural materials, but there's bamboo fibers, natural binding agents, and vegetable dyes. So this is 100% biodegradable, and it says that it will last three to five years and will decompose in, within six months in a landfill. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, I saw it and I thought maybe something a little bit different. Um, it's really sturdy. It's, it, it feels even harder and sturdier than plastic. Um, so I'm going to use this pot today. And, um, and again, obviously you see it's going to have room to grow. The roots have room to grow in here. So that's always a good thing. So it will get bigger. So by the time it gets warm, I'll then plant it in the, uh, in the ground. And definitely going to keep an eye on it, maybe in a fenced in area on the other side of the house just so it doesn't take over all the vegetables. Um, this I learned, I don't even know where, I think maybe on Pinterest or something, but you just take a coffee filter and place it at the bottom of your bowl. It's a good filtration system, so when you have holes so that the, um, the water doesn't completely drain out, you could add um, just some stones or pebbles from outside, um, or even pieces of wood chunks, you know, like mulch, um, or twigs, you can just get chopped up twigs, just something so that when you water, it doesn't come flushing right through it. It, it maintains some sort of moisture. And I have a really good um, soil here. It's 100% organic. And you know, typically before before I you know I I learned so much about um, you know organic horticulture, I guess you could say, um, you know, organic. If if you're going to be growing organic fruits and vegetables. Um, and you buy the seeds, you buy all the organic materials, but then you use like Miracle Grow or something, something with a lot of additive chemicals or fer unnatural fertilizers. Then, um, then there's really no point because the the roots absorb all of that, and it and it you eat it. So it, it's just it'll be best if you if you had organic soil, or if you just use soil from outside. That's fine too. But anyway, so this is a really good soil. So I'm gonna. And a couple cupfuls of that. This is a nice little spat of some sort. So, I'm going to do three cupfuls. I'm going to kind of spread it out. And I'm going to take my mint. It's a loose and you just kind of crunch it in a little bit like that. And look at all of those roots. I mean that that's beautiful. To me that that is just absolutely beautiful and it's so full of life. I mean you have this predominant root right here just wrapping itself around and then hundreds, thousands of tiny little roots. And it's all confined in this. So imagine putting this in a bigger pot, it's gonna do the same thing in a very short time with mint too. So I'm gonna place this gentleman. There. Now we're going to fill it back up with some more soil. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. You can see how happy he is. 
And it is really, in my opinion, it's, it's difficult to, um, to kill mint. It's just so resilient. And as far as watering, I would say water every couple days. If you notice it getting dry, the soil getting dry, I would say water it. And um, you don't want it to get too dry, though. And that's just beautiful. So I'm just going to fill it up water and maybe mist it. I would mist it every day, just the leaves so they get nice and fresh. And uh, and they have a beautiful pot of mint placed in the sun. Just over here a little bit. And um, and enjoy it. I mean obviously the uses are endless so I'm not gonna go through all that but um, you know, mint is one of my favorite herbs. It always has been growing up um, because of its because of its resilience and because it's just always full of life and happy. So, anyway, that's how to plant mint. Um, and again, it, uh, once it gets a little bit warmer out here in New Jersey, I'm definitely going to uh, plant it outside so it can get bigger and uh, grow a little bit more and spread out. So, I hope you enjoy it and. Uh, Please subscribe if you like this video. Um, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.